This video was requested by the autistic guy. Hello, Thomas fans. It's TNF to Genie Fan 2009 here. And as you all know, yesterday it was the 40th anniversary for the Thomas and Friends TV series, not the franchise as a whole. And to celebrate that, I'm finally going to upload my updated Thomas and Friends DVD collection. I haven't done this since 2020, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to revisiting these. Because there's a couple new items that I've been waiting to show you. So, most of these DVDs, you have seen before, you know, I've got some from VCI, To Entertain, Hit Entertainment, and even Mattel. But there's a couple of DVDs that I don't think you've seen yet. So without further ado, let's just get started. Now here's the first DVD. I don't know if you've seen this before. I think you might have in a previous video, although I can't remember. If you don't know what this is, this is a recorded DVD of the 1989 Pickwick video VHS of Percy and Harold. I got this along with my second copy of The Deputation, because I've had three copies in the past. My first one was broken, so I got a second one, but it was starting to get warped, so I got a third one to replace it. When I got my second copy, I got this DVD along with it. Anyway, it's just the front, the spine, and the back, and the episodes are Percy and Harold, The Runaway, Percy Takes the Plunge, Pod Goes to Diesel, Dirty Work, A Close Shave, Better Late Than Ever, and Break Van. It's basically the 1989 version, but on this recorded disc. Here's the disc. It is a... It's a Maxell disc. I had to look in the light just to see um, what it was, because it was hard to read. But yeah, this is the only recordable DVD I've got to show you. And by the way, no, Mattel, I did not make this. I made the cover, but I didn't make this DVD. Anyways... Now we're getting on to the official DVDs. And the first official DVD is the very first one released, Peep Peep Party. This was released by VCI in 2000. Here's the front, the spline, and the back. And the episodes are Lady Hat's Birthday Party, Bar, Double Teeth and Troubles, Thomas Percy and Old Soul Coach, Happy Ever After, Busy Going Backwards, Thomas and Gordon, Thomas's Christmas Party and Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure. And it's also got the song as the Night Train and Dolls Duck. And here's the disc. Next one is Thomas and the Magic Railroad. This is the original release with the cardboard case. This is the cardboard case version. This was released by Warner Home Video and Icon Home Entertainment. Well. Technically, it's just Icon that uh, plays on the DVD. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. This is the only Thomas and Friends DVD I've got with the Warner Brothers um, logo on there. I don't know why Warner Brothers got involved with this. Oh, yeah, because Icon is like an, a distribution for Warner Brothers and Warner Home Video. And a couple of Warner Home Video releases had the promo for this film at the beginning. It's really confusing why though. And here's the disc. And here are the chapter points in the film. I know Magic Railroad might not be a canon film, but it is really nostalgic. It's definitely better than the... Uh, hey, it, it, I know it was the first movie, but at least it was better than the last one that they made. Spoilers for later on in the video, by the way. The next one is The Fogman. Which is the first season 6 DVD of Thomas and Friends released. As seen on the Nick Jr. channel. Here's the front. The spine. This is also the first one I got to show that's released by Hit Entertainment. And the back. And the episodes are... The Fogman, No Sleep for Cranky, Salty Secret, Harvey to the Rescue, Bad Day for Harold the Helicopter, Elizabeth the Vintage Lorry, Twin Trouble, Golden Takes a Tumble. And it's also got the song Winter Wonderland. Despite the fact that it's got the Hit Entertainment logo on the artwork, it doesn't have it at the start for some reason. It has the VCI logo at the start, but not Hit for some reason. Here's the disc, and here's the leaflet, which has the episodes and the extras on here. Not all of my copies of the VCI 
releases had this, but most of them do. This was quite common for the VCI releases of the show. The next one is another Season 6 DVD, which is Brave Little Engines, as seen on CITV. This is a 2005 um, um, version of it, because it has... Because this DVD, I know it's from 2003, but this is a 2005 reissue because it's got the Calling All Engines sticker. It's the spine and the back. It's still the original release, it's just a reprint of it. And the, Anyways, the episodes are A Friend in Need, Scaredy Engines, Percy and the Haunted Mine, James and the Red Balloon, Toby Had a Little Lamb, Thomas Percy and the Squeak, Edward the Very Useful Engine, and Rusty Saves the Day. I think this is my favourite Season 6 release from VCI. Here's the disc and the episode leaflet. Next one is Happy Little Helpers, which I also own on VHS. This is a Season 7 DVD. This is also from 2003. Here's the spine. And the black and the episodes are Three Cheers for Thomas, Percy Gets It Right, Edward's Brass Band, James and the Queen of Sodor, Toby's Windmill, A Bad Day at Castle Lock, Snow Engine, and Emily's New Coaches. And the disc is in here, and here's the episode leaflet. Next one is The Very Best of Thomas and Friends, which is... Another one that I own on VHS. The stickers on the spine, like the Hit Entertainment logo here, it doesn't have that because the original owner cut off thing. I tried to repair it years ago, but it didn't wait, fail. I used to have a used certificate there, but that's bent off as well. Anyways, here's the spine and the back. And the episodes are Thomas and Gordon, James and the Coaches, Cranky Bugs, Rusty and the Boulder, Dirty Work, Paypox and Queens, Buzz Buzz, Thomas and the Special Letter, Thomas Percy and the Dragon, Trust Thomas, Thomas Comes to Breakfast, No Joke for James, Pop Girls a Diesel, Girls Train, Percy Runs Away, and Gallant Old Engine. And here's the disc. This copy doesn't have the episode leaflet. Next one is... Engines to the Rescue, which is another 2005 reprint because of the Calling All Engines sticker. It's re it was it's a it's a, it was released in 2004 though. Is the front and the spine and the back and the episodes are Gordon and Spencer, Howard and the Flying Horse, the Grand Opening, It's Only Snow, the Refreshing Ladies Tea Shop, Trusty Rusty, Salty Stormy Tail, and Something Fishy. And it also has the episode Train Driver Dub. Tub from Rubber Dubbers. This is like the only time we see Rubber Dubbers on a VCI DVD because Hit Entertainment just released them on their own. And there's the disc. The next five are the complete series DVDs from that box set in 2004. Here's this, here is the 2004 release of season one which includes the 1998 versions of the episodes. Anyways, here's the front. And here's the spine, which usually on here, there was a colour around the number. It's a blue to represent Thomas. And the back. Pause the, ep pause the video now if you want to have a look at the episodes. I'm not going to read them out on the complete season DVDs. And here's the disc and the episode leaflet. The next one is Season 2, which is also the 1998 Masters. There's the spine with blue around the two for Edward. And the back. This, Season 1 and the next three are all from 2004. Here's the disc. And the episode leaflet. And all of these are the 1998 Masters. Here's Season 3. Is the front, the spine with green around the three for Henry, and the back. 
This is all the redub versions because they never they never put the original dub on here. It was only on the 1991 season three VHSs. Here's the disc, and this one it didn't come with its episode leaflet. Well, I, I got it in 2019, but still. Uh, season 4, again, it's from 2004. Here's the spine with the blue rather than before for Gordon and the back. The best episodes of the season are all the Narrow Gauge Engines ones. I love the Narrow Gauge Engine stories in this season. Here's the disc and the episode leaflet. Next is Season 5. This is from 2004 as well. Here's the spine with red for James and the black. This was the first um, complete season DVD I owned. That was a VCI one. Here's the disc and the episode leaflet. And also, this was the last Thomas DVD I've got to show that was released by VCI. Now we're moving on to the two Entertain releases. Starting with The Little Engine's Big Days Out. This is from 2006. Here's the front. The spine. It's the first one I've got to show that's a two Entertain one. And the back. And the episodes are Thomas and the Birthday Picnic, Peter Sam and the Magic Lamp, Tuneful Toots, Flower Power, Keeping Up with James, and Thomas Tries His Best. And here's the disc. Next one is Tales on the Tracks, the the official release from 2006, because it got a promotional release in 2005 by Hit. This is the Tomb Entertain version. It's the spine and the back, and the episodes are Thomas Gets It Right, Percy's Big Mistake, James Gets a New Coat, Emily's New Root, As Good as Gordon, and Thomas Emily and the Snowplow. This is a season 8 DVD. Here's the disc. Next one is Together on the Tracks. Here's the front, spine, and the back. It's another season 9 release. The episodes are Molly's Special Special, Emily Knows Best, Renee's and the Dinosaur, Respect for Gordon, Saving Edward. And Thomas and the Golden Eagle. And here is the disc. The next one is one that I think I really should replace one day because, to be honest, I don't think I need the, this specific version. It is the 2007 re release of Truckloads of Fun. I don't like the UK release of this DVD as much as the Australian one. Because the Australian one had the original masters of the episodes. Although although for most of season one, as well as season two, it had the nineteen ninety three masters. And then and then on a couple of season one episodes it had the original masters. Season three and four had their original masters on there as well. This has just got all the nineteen ninety eight masters. Anyways, here's the front. The spine, and it's the last one I've got to show that has the 2000s slash late 90s hit entertainment logo. And the back, and the episodes are Thomas and the Trucks, Troublesome Trucks, Tenders and Turntables, Trouble in the Shed, Off the Rails, Thomas Percy and the Coal, Mavis, Heroes, Fort Little Engines, and Make Someone Happy. And here's the disc, and despite the fact it's got the hit and two entertain logos, it's got the VCI and Galen logos at the start. The next one is Season 6, which is also from 2007. Here's the front. The spine with green for Percy. It's the first one I've got to show with the 2007 hit logo. And the back. And the episode leaflet is in here. And the disc. Despite the fact this has got the current Hit Entertainment logo, it's actually got the 1997 one at the start. Next one is a promotional DVD. 
Everybody knows about this one. It's the two fantastic episodes from the Sunday Mirror. The first one to be sold individually by Hit Entertainment in this video. It's also the only Thomas and Friends DVD to have the still version of the 2007 logo at the start. Also, this case is a little bit broken because... I don't know if you'll be able to see, but there's like a little split in there. Luckily, I've managed to fix that with a staple. See underneath the Hit logo? Anyways, here's the front. And here's the back. And the episodes are Jack jo Jank Ums Up and Percy Scary Tale. Two pack episodes. I'm so happy Hit decided to put the pack episodes on here. Well, not all of them, but two of them, but you know. And it's also got three music videos from Season 7. Five New Engines in the Shed, The Bread Balloon, and Troublesome Trucks. And there's another for other Hit Entertainment DVDs and merchandise. There's a Hit Favourites um, Jigsaw game. I've seen that in the charity shop at Gateshead not long, uh, like a few years ago. But I haven't seen it since. I've got the musical collection. I've got Bob the Builder, Rolly and the Rockstar, and I have Fireman Sam Saves the Day. And here's the disc. The next one is Engines and Escapades, which is one of my favourite releases uh, um, of all time uh, f from Thomas and Friends. Because it is the only to entertain season 11 DVD. It's the spine, it's from 2007. And the back, and the episodes are Duncan Does It All, Cool Truckings, Scarlowy Storms Through, Sir Handle and Charge, Ding a Ling, and Wash Behind Your Buffers. And here's the disc. And inside here, there's an advert for other Thomas and Friends merchandise. Basically, here we've got a thing for Drayton Manor's Thomas Land. This was 2007. This was shortly before it opened. There's an advert for merchandise, including the Percy at the Funfair take-along set. I have this play set, actually. I don't have the Golden Bear draw and drive, and I don't have that weird-looking Thomas. Day Out with Thomas event, obviously. Books based on hit-era episodes. A story library style book from Egmont. Um, Michelangelo Snorri in the Railway series from BBC Audiobooks. A Hornby set. Um, some more toys. I have that Thomas and Percy Post Office loader set. Leo Kim Video has that Thomas model. And there's something else to do with Drake Manor there. Oh, it's just, it's just Hit's way of making Thomas into a merchandise thing. That's all. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Anyways, here's the next DVD, which is Season 7. This is also from 2007. Here's the front. And if we look at the spine, we can see two notable changes if the camera decides to focus. Come on, focus. There we go. As you can see, the 2 into 10 logo looks different to how it previously looked. As you can see, the words are slightly smaller on the older ones than compared to this one. Also, why is this pur purple? It should be brown for Toby. Anyways, here's the black. And here's the disc, and like season 3, it didn't come with an episode leaflet, so I had to make a custom one. I made this back in either 2017 or 2018. Looking back, I think I could, could improve, but this is good enough. I don't intend to replace it. Because I actually did a really good job making this, in my opinion, even though back then it was a little rough. Here's the 
the next DVD is All the Bob with the Steam Team. This is the 2008 Hit Entertainment re-release. In fact, the next six DVDs after this are re-releases from Hit of the Hit Entertainment era. Anyways, here's the front and the spine and the back. And the episodes are Thomas to the Rescue, Thomas and the Tuba, Percy's New Whistle, Henry and the Wishing Tree, Squeak, Rattle and Roll and Thomas and the Firework Display. Here's the disc. This was the very first season 8 DVD. Does anyone think it's strange seeing a season 1 Thomas promo on a season 8 DVD? Does anyone think that's weird? Because I do. Next one is It's Great to Be an Engine. I've got this at CEX. Here's the spine. And the back. The episodes on this one are too hot for Thomas, Gordon takes charge, James goes too far, Emily's adventure, Edward the Great, Percy in the Magic Carpet, and you can do it, Toby. I was never a fan of this DVD when I um, had my very first copy back when I was a young child. Here's the disc. Next one is... P.P. Parade, again, it's the 2008 version. Here's the spine and the back. The episodes are Thomas Saves the Day, Halloween, Chickens to School, Don't Tell Thomas, Spick and Spam, Thomas and the Circus, and Fish. The season 8 version of Fish, by the way. Here's the disc. I don't know why they decided to call it... Um, why did it? Why does it have three cheers for Thomas on the bottom? I think it should have just been called PP Parade, and that's it. Unless that's a typo. Ugh. And by the way, if you're wondering why the picture's getting darker, it's because it's getting dark outside. Anyways, the next DVD is On Track for Adventure, which has a little bit of a history behind it. Back when, I, well, back when I got this copy in 2014, this came from a DVD um, pack called the DVD Action Heroes Pack. I think that's what it's called. It was a hit favourite style DVD. It had this, as well as Pingu Bouncy Fun, Five and Sam to the Rescue, and Bother Builder Teamwork Challenge. I got rid of all them copies, but I kept this one around, even though I rarely watched it. And for a season 9 DVD, it's actually quite good. It's actually got quite good episodes on this. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. The picture quality is really bad because I just basically just photocopied this styled image from Google. Anyways, I can't read the episodes, but I do know what the episodes are on the DVD. They are Thomas's New Trucks. Duncan and the Old Mine, Thomas's Milkshake Model, My Team Mac, Toby Feels Left Out, and Thomas and the New Engine. And here's the disc, which is a little bit scratched, but to be honest, I'm not bothered. The next one is. Ugh, oh, Calling All Engines. I've never been a fan of Calling All Engines. I never liked this movie. Well, I do like the learning segments and the songs, but the overall the movie's garbage. But not as bad as Day of the Diesels. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. This is the re-release. I used to have the To Entertain copy, but I got rid of it. And here's the disc. Next one is Thomas's Trusty Friends. Here's the front, the spine, and the pack, the back. This is the only pack episode DVD that was ever released. And Hit only made it for merchandise. And to be honest, I'll let them off with this because they were the ones that cancelled this production. 
So I'm actually kind of glad they decided to bring this back, even if it was for pointless merchandise. Anyways, the episodes are A Tale for Thomas, Thomas and the Moles, Kelly's Windy Day, Percy Helps Out, The Tortoise and the Hare, Thomas' Trusty Friends, On Sight with Thomas, Alfie Has Kittens, A Happy Day for Percy, A Visit from Thomas and Mud, Glorious Mud. Here's the disc. This is a really nostalgic DVD. The next one is The Spirit of Sodor, which is a DVD that I didn't want to get in its re-release form. I got this from CEX. I really wanted the Tomb of Tain version, because the Tomb of Tain version came out the same year this was re-released. That is just so strange. Oh, but to be honest, I'm not really complaining about it. Well, I'm a bit wet, but still. And also, it was the final DVD to have the 1997 hit logo. I'm talking about the original release, though. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. And the episodes are Thomas and the Statue, Percy and the Oil Painting, Henry and the Flagpole, Bald and Brave, Scarlet the Brave, Thomas and the Rainbow, Thomas's Day Off, and Thomas and the Toy Shop. And here's the disc. Oh, hang on a minute, I'm just gonna... I'll be back in a minute, I've just gotta turn the light on. Alright guys, I'm back, I've just turned the lights on a little bit because it's starting to get dark outside. I don't want it to get too dark. Anyways, back to the DVDs. The next one is Pulling Together. This is the 2 Entertain re-release from 2008. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. And the episodes are The Old Bridge, Baldry Rides Again, Bill Ben and Fergus, The Spotless Record, Best Dressed Engine, Fergus Breaks the Rules, Peace and Quiet, and The Runaway Elephant. Now there's a little bit of a goof on the back of the DVD, and it's on the description for Fergus Breaks the Rules. It says, when he's being sent to the smelter's yard, Fergus is afraid of being scrapped and runs away. But all is well and when Thomas finds him and Fergus becomes the pride of the smelter's yard. It should say pride of the cement works. I don't know why they decided to do this. And here is the disc. This is the 2004 disc. Now, the reason the 2004 disc is in here, because when I got this at CEX, the original release was there in the same store. So whoever bought the 2004 DVD now has the disc from this one. It's still the same content, it's just different artwork on the disc. Because the, the re-releases that you entertained did, they put the VCI logo, they kept the original VCI logo on there. Speaking of re-releases, here is Bumper Party Collection, the 2008 version. Here's the spine and the back. And the episodes are Harvey to the Rescue, A Bad Day for Harold the Helicopter, Twin Trouble, Percy's Chocolate Crunch, Thomas the Jet Engine, The World's Strongest Engine, Thomas Percy and the Squeak, Edward the Very Useful Engine, Three Cheers for Thomas, Gordon and Spencer, What's the Matter with Henry, and Renaissance and the Roller Coaster. Now this is the only um, release in the UK to have the um, Robert Hartshorn versions of season 7 in the in their UK dub state and to have the season 8 intro play at the beginning of season 6. Now this DVD has been criticised for that matter but to be honest I think it's interesting. I used to have the VCI copy but I no longer do. Anyways, here's the disc. The next one is my favourite movie from the model era, The Great Discovery. This movie is absolutely lovely. It's a great film. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. I know Stanley isn't a well-developed character, but to be honest, if he got episodes to himself in season 12 or something, he would have been interesting. Here's the disc. I know this was written by Sharon Miller, but to be honest, her writing in this, it, it, it's really good. 
unlike other future movies she did. But we'll not talk about them yet. The next one is Season 9. This is from 2009. This is the first um, complete season DVD I ever bought. All the way back in 2014. Here's the front. The spine. It's got... Uh, it's got um, green around the nine. It should be black for Donald, but I'm assuming they've done that probably because of Emily or something. Anyways, here's the back. And here's the disc. And ever since they originally released season eight, they stopped putting the ad leaflets in here, the episode leaflets. The next one is... Carnival Capers. This is also from 2009. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. This is the version that has Percy on the back because there's another version that has Rosie and Rocky on the back. The Chinese dragon has always been on the back of this, though. Anyways, the episodes are Thomas and the Jet Plane, Percy and the Fun Fair, Thomas's Tricky Tree, Toby's Afternoon Off. Emily and the Special Coaches, Seeing the Sights, and Thomas and the Shooting Star. And here's the disc. The next one is Songs from Sodor, which has basically got lots of songs from the era, well, only 18 of them. It's basically similar to that one VHS released back in 2001. I think it's called Sing Along With Thomas. I don't have that VHS though. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. And the hit era songs that play on this DVD are The Engine Roll Call, Busy, Trying, Together, Brave, Night and Day, Party Time, Pride, Every Day is a Special Day, Sharing, Togetherness, Doing It Right, Favourite Place, Harold, Navigation, All The New, Responsibility, Strength, and a bonus song, which is Thomas, You're The Leader. Here's the disc. I remember back in lockdown, I put this DVD on in full blast. Um, When we were basically, like, celebrating, like... Well, people... You guys know what they're talking about. Where everyone used to go outside and start clapping back in lockdown. Does anyone remember that? Because I know I do. When that was happening, I put this DVD on full blast in my Xbox. The next one is Heave Ho Thomas. This is a season 12 release. This is the front. The spine. And the back, and the episodes on this are Thomas and the Billboard, Steady Eddie, Rosie's Funfair Special, Mountain Marvel, Henry Gets It Wrong, and Toby's Special Surprise. The first DVD I've got to show that has every episode on here to be a Three Strikes Formula episode. Why? Because it's season 12. And here's the disc. It's got a weird looking picture of Thomas and Big Old Hank! Hank is my favourite character from this season because he at least has some kind of personality. The next one is Seasonal Scrapes, which is the final Thomas and Friends DVD I've got to show you that was released by Two Entertain. I made the cover for it myself. Here's the spine and the back. And the episodes are Rusty to the Rescue, Woolly Bear, Bulgy, You Can't Win, Percy's Promise, Henry's Forest, Toby and the Flood, Stepney Gets Lost, The Trouble with Mud, Thomas Terrence and the Snow, Snow, The Flying Kipper, A Scarf of Percy, Special Funnel, Thomas's Christmas Party, Thomas and the Missing Christmas Tree, and Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure. And here's the disc. And like the other two, it has the VCI logo and the Ghislaine logo. Well, the Ghislaine logo in the case of this and truckloads of fun. The next one is Hero of the Rails, which is the first CGI Thomas and Friends DVD I've got to show. Here's the spine. This is from 2009. And here's the back. This was a brilliant way for the CGI series to kick off. It 
And although I did have Thomas ditching a special in the movie, at least it wasn't for an out-of-character moment or anything. It's the disc. And now we're moving on to 2010. The first release from this year is Season 10. By far the worst hit era season ever. I prefer, I prefer Season 12 to this because Season 12 actually has really good animation. Which some people think has an age well, but I actually kind of like it. But this season is just bad. It's straight up bad. Anyways, here's the spine and the back. I don't even know why there's 28 episodes on here. This is the worst model season of all time. And here's the disc. This is the thick case version, the original version, the one that was sold individually. And the first individual one in this style, before the 65 years box set came out, in the exact same year. The next one is Season 8. This is the 2010 re-release. Here's the spine and the back. This is the thick case version. So it's not the original version of the 2010 one. And here is the disc. Next one is Season 11, which has got a picture of Thompson Spencer on the front. Here's the spine and the back. This is quite a good season from the hit era. This is my second. This is the this is the hit era season which I would which I would argue is the second best. Here's the disc. I know everybody hates the yellow tint in this season, but I personally quite like the yellow tint. The next movie is. Something which the entire fandom, apart from punky stuff, hates. It's about three annoying characters going on a stupid adventure with Thomas. Here's the spine and the back. I think Misty Island Rescue was enjoyable, but only a little bit. Because I remember re-watching it for the um, favourite Thomas and Fred season and movie video that I did. Here's the, here's the disc. And on rewatch, I thought it was a little annoying. But I will admit, I am quite nostalgic for the film as well. The next one is The Christmas Express. This is the version that has the thick case. Is the spine and the back. And the episodes are Thomas Emily and the Snowplow, Don't Tell Thomas, Keep It Up with James, Scarlet with the Brave, Thomas's Frosty Friend, which is one of the worst episodes of all time, according to the fans, and Henry's Lucky Day. And here's the disc. Now we're moving on into 2011. The next one is Season 12, which is better than Season 10. Sorry, Thomas and Friends fans. Because I, I I think this is better just because of the animation. Here's the spine and the back. But yeah, the animation hasn't exactly aged well. On some characters, it looks bad. Especially in promo images. Here's the disc. Hang on, I'm going to turn up the lights a little bit. There we go. The next one is the Birthday Express. I got this from CEX as well. Here's the spine and the back. The episodes are Percy's Parcel, Double Trouble, The Man in the Hills and The Party Surprise. And here's the disc. It's another all three strike formula episode. DVD, quite unfortunately. The next one is Day of the Diesels, which I got in a Smith's Toys Superstores um, um, 
Thomas and Friends DVD pack. I'm not 100% sure what it's called, though. But here's a picture of it. Here's a picture of it on screen now. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. That pack also came with King of the Railway, Blue Mountain Mystery, and Spills and Frills, which we'll all see later on. Here's the disc. And from that pack, this is the only bad thing out of that pack. The next one is Thomas and Charge, which is a Season 14 DVD. The cover is in really, 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 really bad condition, but the, the disc it plays a little bit fine. Here's the spine. And the back and the episodes are Thomas and Charge, Henry's Good Deeds, All the Indignity and A Blooming Mess. This has also got the Mr. Perkins segments. Why? Because it's a DVD from the Nitrogen era. Here's the disc. I really like the Mr. Perkins segments on these DVDs. The next one is Season 13, which is, an, which is the first complete season DVD in the slip covers that I've got to show. Anyways, here's the front. The spine which has a promo image from season 12 for some reason. Here it is on the other spine. And the back. And here's the disc. The next DVD is No. You said it, Mr. Audrey. You said it. It's up, up and away. We all know what the problem with this is. The spine in the back and the episodes are horrible episode number one. Up, up and away. Horrible episode number two, Wonky Whistle. Horrible episode number three, Kevin the Steamy. And horrible episode number four, Emily and Bash. No, Emily and Dash, ugh. Yeah, season 15 was not good. It was not good. Anyways, here's the disc. Get rid of that. Next one is Rescue on the Rails, which is another horrible season 15 release. It's the spine and the back. This is from 2012. The episodes are Fiery Flynn, James to the Rescue, Edward the Hero, and Stop That Bus. Here's the disc. You know what? I'm just going to put it over here because I can't be bothered to torture this one. Anyways. The next one is Curious Cargo. Here's the spine and the back. This is from 2012 as well. The episodes are Thomas' Told Friend, Percy's New Friends, which I will admit is quite a nostalgic episode from season 15. It's my second favourite. Toby and Bash and Big Bell. I like Percy's... Um, I, I actually quite like Percy's New Friends. It's quite nostalgic. Although it does have its flaws. It's a disc. The next one coming up is a box set. The Steam Team Collection, which basically has the three 2010 releases of Season 13. Those being Splish Bash Splosh, Thomas and the Runaway Kite, and Cricky Cranky. This box set came out in 2012. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. These are all episodes from season 13. I'm not going to read them out though because I don't have the individual releases. I used to have the individual versions of Creaky Cranky and Splish Bash Splosh but I no longer have them because I replaced them with this. And anyways, here are the discs. Here's Splish Bash Splosh. Thomas and the Runaway Kite which has the 65th anniversary symbol next to Charlie. And Creaky Cranky.
The next one is my favourite Nitrogen Thomas related thing. Blue Mountain Mystery. Everybody knows this movie is good. It's it's the be it's everyone says it's the best thing out of the nitrogen seasons. And I one hundred percent agree. It is really good. Anyways, here's the spine and the back. And here's the disc with Thomas and everyone's favourite little Irish fella, Luke. And the next one is Merry Winter Wish. A DVD that, once again, has horrible Three Strikes Formula episodes. Here's the spine and the back. And this came from a another Smith's Toys DVD pack. This one was the Festive Favourites pack. Here it is on screen. This pack had the DVDs without the barcode for some reason. Which is actually quite strange. Anyways, the episodes are Merry Winter Wish, Toss and the Snowman Party, Henry's Magic Box, Merry Misty Island, Let It Snow and Surprise Surprise. Here's the disc. The next one is Sticky Situations. Here's the front. The spine and the back. And the episodes are Stuck On You, Spence on the Ground, Gordon and Ferdinand. My favourite season 15 episode because of Ferdinand getting more than that's right. Charlie and Eddie, Henry's Health and Safety and Diesel's Special Delivery. This is from 2013. And here's the disc. The next one is a season 16 DVD, Go Go Thomas. The cover on this is in, in the very, very, really bad shape. Anyways, here's the spine and the back. The episodes are Express Coming Through, Race to the Rescue, Flashbang Wallop, Welcome Stafford and All Wheezy Wobbles. And here's the disc. The next one is another box set, the Sword Wars Heroes Pack. This has one Season 14 DVD and two Season 13 DVDs, those being Wobbly Wheels and Whistles, The Line of Sword Wars, and Pop Goes Thomas. They were all released in 2011, whereas this pack came out two years later in 2013. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. I'm not going to read the episodes out. Why? Because I don't want to. And two, because it's not on here. And three, because of the three strikes formula. Anyways, here are the discs. Pop Goes Thomas, which was unfortunately written by Sharon Miller. The Line of Sodor. And Wobbly Wheels and Whistles. The next one is Muddy Matters. This is another one from Season 16. I have a little bit of history with this release. Not this specific copy, but this DVD in general. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. And the episodes are Muddy Matters, Thomas and the Rubbish Train, Don't Bother Victor, Whiff's Wish, and Thomas Toots the Crows. Back when I went to Drayton Manor in 2014... This DVD was playing on a huge screen during the breakfast, during when I was having breakfast. I even got a certificate from the Fat Controller himself. His disc. I remember this DVD had just finished. I remember seeing the Thank You Wide End. And I remember seeing this promo of Thomas and James. That's how I knew it was this DVD. The next one is. Season 14, I got this from CEX. It's not good. It's a horrible season. It's really bad. It's the spine and the back. I'm just not going to pretend I didn't see the login locals on the back of there. Here's the disc. Next is another promotional DVD. Journey with Thomas. This is the Day Out with Thomas DVD. I made the cover myself, but I'm thinking about redesigning it. Anyways, here's the front. 
the spine, and the back. And the episodes are Jitters and Jakes and Double Trouble. I really am thinking about redesigning this because looking back at this cover artwork, it hasn't aged well. Here's the disc, which is quite, stra quite scratched, unfortunately. Here is the last box set I've got to show. The Best of Friends pack. I got this from CEX. This has got the best of James, the best of Percy, and the best of Thomas inside it. Which is a comp which are compilations of episodes featuring the three characters from season one to season fifteen. Or season thirteen in the best of Thomas's case is the front, the spine, and the back. And here are the discs. Here's the Best of Thomas, the 2012 re-release, the Best of Percy, and the Best of James. The next five are the treat, some of the treat size DVDs. The first of these treat size DVDs is Edward and Gordon. Here's the front, the spine, and the back, the episodes are Thomas and Gordon, Edward and Gordon, The Sad Story of Henry, Edward, Gordon and Henry, Thomas's Train and Thomas and the Trucks. And here's the disc. Because they all look the same, I'm going to try and quickly go through them. Here is Thomas and the Breakdown Train. These are all from 2013. The episodes on this one are Thomas of the Breakdown Train, James and the Coaches, Troublesome Trucks, James and the Express, Thomas and the Guard, and Thomas Goes Fishing. And here's the disc. Thomas, Percy and the Coal. I have the Screen Legends of EHS of this as well. The episodes on the DVD version are Thomas, Percy and the Coal, Cows, Bertie's Chase, Save from Scrap, all Diane and Thomas and Trevor. The VHS had Percy and the Signal and Duck Takes Charge. This also has the restored versions, but the original has the original masters. Percy Takes the Plunge. The episodes are Percy, t Percy and the Signal, Duck Takes Charge, Percy and Harold, The Runaway, Percy Takes the Plunge and Pop Goes the Diesel. And the last of the treat size ones is a close shave. The episodes are Dirty Work, A Close Shave, Thomas Comes to Breakfast, Better Late and Ever, Break Van, and The Deputation. This was originally going to be called Thomas Comes to Breakfast, but it got changed, presumably because of Duck's return in CGI. Speaking of the Brenner era, we're moving on to the first movie from the Brenner era, King of the Railway. Now, this isn't my copy from the Smiths packs. This is an individual copy because it has the same case design as um, Season 13 did. This one also has a free child ticket to Thomas Land, but unfortunately this copy did not come with that. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, the other spine, and the back. And here's the disc. And there's an advert for King of the Railway merchandise. There's an advert for Thomas Land on the back. A scene on Nick Jr. and a milkshake. There's some Taken Place stuff. Classic Trackmaster. Mega Blocks. I mean, this is Mattel we're talking about, so they had to include that. I'll put that back in there later. The next one is Merry Christmas Thomas, which also came from the Festive Favourites pack. Here's the spine and the back. The episodes are Ho Ho. Um, the episodes are 
The Christmas Tree Express, Ho Ho Snowman, Salty Surprise, Emily's Winter Party Special, Percy the Snowman, and Tree Trouble. And here's the disc. The next one is the Thomas Way, which is the first Brenner era um, season 17 DVD. See, look, there's CGI Duck. He was the reason why that treat size DVD got renamed, I think. Here's the spine and the back. The episodes are The Thomas Way, The Switch, Percy's Lucky Day, Calm Down Caitlin, The Lost Puff, Luke's New Friend. This is from 2014. And here's the disc. The next one is Spills and Frills, which also came from the same pack as um, Blue Mountain Mystery and Day of the Diesels. The limited offer box set. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. This is the only episode DVD from that pack. The episodes are... The Smelly Kipper, Away from the Snee, No More Mr. Nice Engine, Gone Fishing, Thomas's Shortcut, and The Afternoon Tea Express. And here's the disc. The next one, unfortunately, is season 15. This is the worst season in the franchise, in my opinion. Here's the spine. And the back, the three strikes formula was at its worst, the characters were at their worst, the rhyming was at its worst. I really hate this season. Here's the disc. You know what? You get out of my sight as well. Good riddance. The next one is Tale of the Brave. This is from 2014. Here's the spine and the back. This is a good movie in my opinion. I really like the ending. It was giving us it was reminding me of Toy Story 3 in a lot of ways. If you've seen this movie, you'll know what I mean. Here's the disc. The next one is Santa's Little Engine. This came from the Festive Favorites pack as well. Here's the spine. And the back. The episodes are Santa's Little Engine, No Snow for Thomas, The Frozen Turntable, and The Missing Christmas Decorations. The only episode with Diesel 10 in it. Anyways, here's the disc. The next one is Trouble on the Tracks. This is my second copy of Trouble on the Tracks. Because my first copy got scratched. Here's the spine. And the back. The episodes are Thomas the Quarry Engine, Not So Slow Coaches, The Flatbeds of Fear, Disappearing Diesels, Toad's Adventure, Duck on the Slip Coaches, and Missing Gator. Here's the disc, and there's an advert for Drayton Manor and Mega Blocks. The next one is Railway Mischief, which I also got a new copy of because of the same reasons. Here's the spine and the back. And the episodes are Gordon Runs Dry, Kevin's Kanky Friend, um, Scruff's Makeover, Wayward Winston, Steamy Stafford, Not Now Charlie, Charlie's Best Episode by the way, and Bill or Ben. And for some reason, the menu on this DVD is in Pal Pitch. Anyways, here's the disc. The next one is my favourite Thomas and Friends movie, The Adventure Begins. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. This has got a bonus episode from season 18 on it, which is Old Reliable Edward. This really was a good movie for the Railway series. What an absolute legend of a film. Lovely movie, this one. Here's the disc. It's got the same leaflet from... No, it's got... No, it's a different leaflet, actually. It's the same on the front, but... 
Look at the back. I actually never noticed that. I never noticed that with um, my original copy of um, Trouble on the Tracks. And this, I never, that's because I never used to check the back of them. Next one is the final Nitrogen DVD, Season 16. Here's the front, the spine and the back. I'm just going to quickly race through this one because, you know, it's a Nitrogen DVD. Is the disc and there's an advert for books and bed sheets. Why? Because, you know, Mattel, they want to increase their merchandise and sales. The next is another good Thomas movie, Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. For years I hated this movie, but when I rewatched it for my Under 10 Words Thomas video, that I only noticed one criticism, and that was the Fat Controller. I do not like his treatment towards Thomas. It feels very not CGI, if you know what I mean. Here's the spine and the back. It's also the first um, DVD, well, the first time in the Thomas & Friends TV series that the Arsdale engines, Rex Bert and Mike, make appearances. First railway series characters to appear in years. The first time since the Thin Controller. Here's the disc. The next one is the Christmas Engines, which also came from the Festive Favourites pack. Here's the spine and the back. This is a lovely DVD as well. The episodes are Last Train for Christmas, Long Lost Friend, Dunk and the Humbug, Duck in the Water, and The Perfect Gift. This is from 2015. And here's the disc. The next one is... Start Your Engines, which is the first Season 19 DVD I've got a review. Here's the spine and the back. This is from 2016. And the episodes are Two Wheels Good, Reds vs Blues, Slow Steven, Little Engine Who Raced Ahead, Best Engine Ever, and Philp to the Rescue. And here's the disc. But it's not the original. This is the one from 2018 because it has bonus disc on it and it has the Mattel logo. It's the exact same content as the original because it still has the Hit Entertainment logo at the start. There's an advert for the My First Thomas range, Mega Blocks, and some of the merchandise and a birthday cake. I got season 19 and uh, this copy was scratched so I put the season 19 version of the disc inside there. The next one's another season 19 DVD, Whale of a Tail. Here's the front, the spine and the back. The episodes are Toad and the Whale, Who's Jeffrey, The Truth About Toby, Lost Property, Henry Spots Trouble and Salty All at Sea. Here's the disc. There's an advert for Drayton Manor. And some Thomas books that are published by Egmont. The next one is Season 17. This is from 2016. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. I swapped the case with my copy of the Wiggles um, Here Comes the Big Red Car because that had an advert in it. This one didn't. This one's also got two discs. Here's disc one. And here is disc two. The next one is The Great Race, which is basically Thomas and Friends' version of a Disney movie, necessarily. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, and the back. The back of this is in really bad shape. But the disc plays fine. Here's the disc, and there's an advert for Mega Blocks. And, yeah, this is another one of those merchandise sheets. The Great Race books, toys. Hey, look at that, Toys R Us. Um, cheap merchandise. Um, Drayton Manor. 
Mattel Playland, which has Thomas and Friends, as well as the Bother Builder reboot and CGI Fireman Sam. There we go. Just get this away. The next one is Steam Team to the Rescue. No, Full Steam to the Rescue, sorry. I keep confusing this with a Season 23 one, which we'll see later on. Anyway, it's just the front, the spine, and the back. The episodes are Rocky Rescue, Wild Water Rescue, Other Side of the Mountain, Goodbye Fat Controller, No Help at All, and Thomas the Babysitter. This is from 2016. Here's the disc. The next one is Season 18, which is the first DVD I've got to show that's released by Mattel Creations. Here's the front. The spine, which has the Mattel Creations logo in PAL pitch for some reason on the disc. And the back. And it's also got Dinos and Discoveries, which the episodes on that DVD are Marion and the Dinosaurs, Millie and the Volcano, Timothy and the Rainbow Truck, Samson at Your Service, Emily Sues the World, and Samson Sets the Scrap. And here are the discs. Here's Season 18, and here's Dinos and Discoveries, which has the Hit Entertainment logo at the start. This is from 2017. The next one is Journey Beyond Sodor, which also has the double spine effect um, slipcase. Here's the front, the spine, the other spine, and the back. Once again, this movie isn't exactly the best. This is around the time when they started having the bouncing added into the franchise. Not counting the Thomas and the Stinky Cheese Pilot. Here's the disc. I'm going to put this back in its slip thing later. The next one is Team Up With Thomas, his front, the spine, and the back. It's from 2017. The episodes are um, Buckled Tracks and Bumpy Trucks, Mucking About, Blown Away, Ryan and Daisy, Pouty James, The Way She Does Her, Useful Railway, and Mike's Whistle. Yay! Railway series adaptions and CGI! Love that. And here's the disc. The next one is Christmas on Sodor, which has an Xbox 360 case. Because the case got broken so I had to replace it and this was the only one I could find. Here's the spine and the back. And the episodes are Terrence Breaks the Ice. Daisy's Perfect Christmas, Confused Coaches, Emily in the Middle, The Big Freeze, and of course, this is Connor, All of Vane, and Tit for Tat. Here's the disc, an advert for Golden Bear Thomas Toys, and more cheap merchandise. The next one is Danger at the Docks. Here's the front, the spine. And the back, the episodes are Cranky at the End of the Line, New Crane on the Dock, Stuck in Gear, A Most Singular Engine, Springtime for Diesel, Den and Dart, and Phillips Number. And here's the disc, which is slightly sun faded on the picture artwork, but it plays just fine. I can't believe this video's going on for almost over an hour. Well, it has gone on over an hour. Anyways, the next one is Season 19, which included Start Your Engines, but that's in its original case. Here's the spine and the back. I swapped the case with CBB's Greatest Hits because that only had a one-disc case. Um, and here's the disc for Season 19. The next one is... The worst Thomas and Friends movie of all time. Big World, Big Adventures. Kids go for it, Thomas Land? This copy didn't have that. Anyways, here's the front, the spine, the other spine, and the back. Everybody knows why this movie is horrible. 
I think Misty on the Rescue is better than this movie, to be honest. Hang on, I just need to quickly make this magically disappear. Yeah, get down there. Anyways, here's the disc. There's an advert for the, the Trackmaster 2 stuff. The movie, as well as brand new series on Milkshake. That's obviously season 22. The book, Playland, Mattel, whatever. The Superstation. There's, then there's a thing for Thomas Land, but you know what, I don't care because I hate this movie with a fiery passion. Pishin. Pishin. I pronounced it wrong. Sorry, guys. And by the way, I wasn't swearing there. If you guys comment down below. It's just... It's just a... I just don't know what to say about this movie. So I'm going to make it disappear. Abracadabra. Yeah, bye-bye. Now, anyways, the next DVD is... Here Comes the Steam Team, which came with a Minis Thomas. This is from 2018. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. The episodes are Confusion Without Delay, What Rebecca Does, Number One Engine, Trusty Trunky Forever and Ever, Outback Thomas, and The Case of the Puzzling Parts. Here's the disc, and there's an advert for the Trapmaster 2 Tornado to Thomas set, Mega Blocks, Stay Out with Thomas, and nope, it's the Big Will Big Adventures film. The next one is Monkey Trouble from 2019. Here's the spine and the back. And the episodes are Thomas of the Monkey Palace, School of Duck, Seen as Believing, Cyclone Thomas, Banjo and the Bush Fire, Rosie is Red, Apology Impossible, Samson's Fear of Fireworks, and Thomas's Animal Arc. There's the disc and another Drayton Manor advert, as well as the Trackbuster 2 um, Dragon Escape said. Next one is Season 20, which also has Extraordinary Engines. Here's the spine on the back. This is the last one I got to show that has the Mattel creations all go at the start. And the episodes on here are Engine of the Future, Henry in the Dark, The Missing Breakdown Train, Hugo and the Airship, The Three Stream Engines Gruff, and Skiff and the Mermaid. And here are the discs. Here's Season 20, and here's Extraordinary Engines. The 2019 re-release. The next one is A Colourful World, which has a very Mario Kart 8 Deluxe styled um, um, cover. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Ugh! James is trying to act like a Chuggington character. What will the Reverend Audrey say? Anyways, the episodes are an Engine of Many Colours, Tiger Trouble, The Water Wheel, Thomas Goes to Bollywood, Counting on Nia, Thomas and the Dragon, Hunt the Truck, and Thomas and the Wild. And here's the disc. The next one is Steam Team to the Rescue. This is from 2020 because it has the 75th anniversary sticker. And here's the spine and the back. The episodes are Free the Roads, Truckle Some Trucks, Golden Gets the Giggles, Thomas Makes a Mistake, Lay Bad Shade, and Wish You Were Here. Thomas Makes a Mistake is just a run-of-the-mill episode. It's basically a Big World Big Adventures version of Nitrogen and Hit combined. And here's the disc. There's an advert for um, something Trackmaster 2 related. That's the Trackmaster 2. Thomas 3 in 1 set, and it also has Push Along Engines and Trackmaster 2, um, what's it called, that engines, the metallic ones for the 75th anniversary. The next one is Carnival Day, which is also from 2012, 2020, sorry. It's the spine and the back, and the episodes are 
Bachucada, Panicky Percy, The Other Big Engine, Diesel Do Right, um, Grudge Match, and Rangers of the Rails. And here's the disc. And it also has a 75th anniversary poster inside it. Which I'm going to show you now. It basically has a bunch of characters from the CGI series. Even the Reverend Robert Audrey. I doubt he'll be happy about this if he was alive to see this. I mean, he probably would have tried to get sue Mattel if he was still alive. Ugh. And it's not going back together properly. You know what, I'll put it back in later. Next one is Marvelous Machinery. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. I think Marvelous Machinery is decent. To be honest, here's the disc. And there's a 75th anniversary merchandising poster thing. Down to the last three, finally. And the next is the Super Engine. There's the spine and the back. And the episodes are James the Super Engine, Shankar's Makeover, Ace's Brave Jump, Thomas and the Inventor's Workshop, The Inventor's Spectacular Bridge, Neon's Bright Idea and Cleo's First Snow. This is from 2020, I think. No, 2021. Here's the disc. There's an advert for more Trackmaster stuff. There's um, collect um, push-alongs and that set, which is now an All Legends Go set. The final classic Thomas and Friends DVD is The Animal Adventures. This is from 2021. Here's the front, the spine, and the back. Oh my god, look at the engine's faces. That is so uncanny. Look at Thomas. Look at Thomas. That looks worse than season 12. Ugh, disgusting. Anyways, the episodes are Thomas's Animal Friends, Thomas's Fuzzy Friend, The Little Great Railway Show, Nia and the Unfriendly Elephant, Thomas's Not So Lucky Day, Young Bow and the Tiger, Gordon and Rebecca Coming Through, Cleo the Road Engine, and Emily's Best Friend, my least favourite episode from the final season of the show. Here's the disc and an advert for Thomas um, podcast um, story time things and a horrible Trackmaster set. And finally, we've got an All Engines Go DVD. Race for the Sodor Cup, the only UK All Legends Go DVD and the last Thomas and Friends DVD released in the UK. It's the front, the spine, the other spine and the back. This is the only All Legends Go DVD released by Hit Entertainment. And it's probably the final Hit Entertainment DVD release ever. Because I don't know if Mattel still make DVDs. Here's the disc. And a map of soda, which I'm not going to show you because it's All Legends Go. And that's my Thomas and Friends updated DVD collection. What was your favourite DVD? And what is your favourite Thomas and Friends season, movie or special? And who was your favourite character? And what is your favourite book in the Railway series? Is this too many questions? Well, um... Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I've got a huge mess to clean up. I have to make myself useful. And I'll see you in the next video. If there's any more videos you want me to see, I'll put them down. See you guys soon!